Hello guys, welcome to another video. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded any videos for a while. I'm hoping that I can make this video a little bit short. I'm just going to update you a little bit. I did a lot during the Christmas season. I had a lot of time that I spent with a friend over almost about a week, practically a week, um, for Christmas, and that was a lot of fun. I guess since we're talking about it, I might as well show you a few other things that I got for Christmas. I'm really sorry about the glare on the wall because I just, I just don't have the greatest of cameras and I don't really have much of the space in my apartment, let alone my room, to um, really make good quality looking videos. So I'm just doing the best I can. I did turn on an extra light um, behind the camera, kind of. Um, I think that's helping a little bit. Um, it d definitely brightens up the room. But let me show you a few things that I got. So first things first, you could probably see it behind me on my bed, but I got a new jacket and I'm just loving the blue on it. Now, my mom got me this and it's just, I just, I love the design of on the inside, it, this is, this is so fancy. This is like really, really fancy. I'm not wearing the proper kind of clothes to be wearing this with, and I, I don't, I don't have anything to go with it. But I just love this. The only, the only thing I don't like is how big it is on, like the sleeves at least. The sleeves are huge. Actually, it feels a little bit nicer with, uh, without it being zipped up. But with it zipped up, that's that's what it looks like. It got the collar and everything. It looks I just I just love this so much. Um, it's nice and warm. I'm not gonna ever take this. Yeah, so I I guess the the blue stuff. So I just feel like I'm in a suit. I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I, I feel like I'm in a I'm wearing a suit jacket. Um, we got a nice pocket on the inside here. Oh, with extra snap buttons. I just barely discovered that. I just, I love this so much. It's like, I feel so fancy. I feel like I, I'm, I'm living in the wrong apartment. I'm living in the wrong, just everything. I, I don't have the fancy stuff. I just, I don't have anything to go with this, but it looks amazing. I won't be wearing it to work at all, but it's definitely um, I'm very grateful to have it. It does it does its job to keep me warm. If I'm wearing other kind of somewhat thinner layers underneath it, it definitely helps to keep me warm. It's a, it's definitely a windbreaker, a shielder from all the cold elements. So next up, we have another thing that my mom got me, and I'm so excited about this. She was so nervous about getting this for me because um, I had talked a lot about all the different things of these that I've been wanting for a long time and have never gotten and she she just went for it. She was like, if you don't like it, we can always go back to the store and get an, a different one, one that you would like better. And I just told her, I will wear it. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm so happy. It'll go with everything. It's a scarf! I love scarves. They're so beautiful. This one, it's really cool. All I do is I fold up, because I, I think that this extra big long stripe is a little bit too thick. So I'll just kind of fold that down a little bit. Um, and so then, I mean, I'm not too picky about how it does. I mean, it's totally uneven and very bad, but I'll just kind of do that and then just kind of make one side, one thing, um, one, one size, and then flip twirl it around and whatever and then just kind of kind of fluff out the neck area uh, I'm obviously not wearing the right outfit for this but this is my scarf and I just absolutely love it I'm actually really curious what do I look like if I was wearing glasses so let's let's try some glasses now these are my favorite glasses of all time that I've ever ever owned um, the thick glasses I don't know what I look like right now but I I haven't worn these for a long time. Honestly, I don't know. There's something about when I wear glasses and when I'm not wearing glasses, there's a huge difference. I feel different. I feel more sophisticated. I feel 
sturdy when I wear my glasses for some reason. I feel grounded almost. I, I just feel something's different and it's really, really good. Like I have my life together every time I wear my glasses. That's how I feel. And whenever I take my glasses off, I just don't feel as, you know, me and whatever. These ones are prescription glasses, but I I think I want to get the same or as close to the same kind of pair of glasses. I got these at Costco because um, that's where I got my eyes tested recently, but um, I'm hoping to find maybe some other pair of glasses frames um, that just have normal lenses in them that aren't prescription um, and just wear those because I honestly don't need the prescription exactly and so what I think I'm going to have is like two separate glasses or two different glasses, one with prescription and yet another pair without prescription. So I can always be wearing glasses, but not have the eye strain that my glasses actually give me. Um, sometimes, I don't know, like my doctor said that I should wear glasses as needed. Actually, let's try on that um, jacket with these glasses. Oh, already, already I can feel it, yep. This is exactly what I like. Oh, and also an observation that I, I made is because I fold it, it causes most of one side to be one solid gray color and then the other side gets to be more of that, uh, the stripes and the other colors that the scarf has on it. And it just makes it look really, really nice and diverse and everything. So. I don't get to see what I look like because I don't have a camera that can show me what I look like, um, but I guess we will. S I will see it when I edit the video, um, and that's what it is when it's all bundled up inside of the the jacket and everything. Um, let's try and maybe pull these out as well and see what that looks like. I kind of like that where it was inside instead of outside. But for some, some reasons, in some cases, it could be very, very stylish to have the scarf on the outside instead of the inside. I feel like I'm in a really interesting mood right now. It is really hot in my, part, in my room right now, so I gotta take this off. It's way too hot. I think I'm gonna wear the glasses the rest of this video because I just I haven't worn these in a long time. I don't wear them because, usually, most of the time, because... I work in a, an envir a work environment that is kind of dangerous to wear glasses in. I, these are really expensive glasses for me, so I don't want to ruin them. So I don't wear glasses 100% of the time, or even like 80% or even 50%. I hardly wear them at all. So that was Christmas. New Year's was a very big thing. I did a lot of Marco Poloing rather than doing any actually videoing because I didn't know how my uh, extended family members would feel about me having their kids and their families in my YouTube videos so I didn't do that um, maybe sometime down years in the future I'll be able to do that because they'll know what kind of content I make and they'll be able to trust me and that'll be okay but for now, I didn't do that, and so that's why I don't I haven't really uploaded any videos recently because it was just such a busy time during the, the holidays, and I just kind of took a break. So I did a lot of Marco Poloing, and there for New Year's and for Christmas, just tr with my family, my extended family. We have an extended family group Marco Polo chat basically. Another cool update is my room. Um, it's not totally a big mess as it used to be or at least I don't think so and it's definitely I need to improve I got uh, some changes and improvements to make but this is um, pretty clean actually for what it used to be during the holidays but I got a dresser a new dresser this is actually really old um, from the original time of the apartment but my roommate was changing up his room, so he decided to get rid of the dresser, and I told him I would take it, and so he gave it to me to use instead, and it actually makes my room look so much nicer, so much neater, cleaner, less cluttered, because even over there, like, I, yeah, I got shelves, but 
it just looks so messy, and I, I just don't like the look of that. It, it looks so cluttered and messy because you can see everything. Um, but with this one, the dressers are closed, the drawers are closed, so you don't see everything. And it makes it look so nice on top, too, where you can have a little bit of stuff, but it's not totally cluttered. The planner, this is actually a new, or, yeah, somewhat of a new planner. I got it last year, um, but I am not really happy with it so much. So, I got a new planner that I'm expecting, um on Thursday. So I'm expecting a new planner on Thursday from a company called Jet Pens. Not sponsored by them, but I got a new planner from them and I'm really excited when it um, comes. Hopefully I got the address right, but when they come I'm excited and anxious to figure out how their planners work and it's really cool. They got some nice stuff. I even got a new um, pen. Not a pencil. This is a mechanical pencil, but I got a new um, pen from them and the cool thing is it erases pen because the way the eraser is is actually friction based and the ink is friction based so if you the more you rub on it the more it will erase and it doesn't leave all the little marks as if you use an eraser like regular pencils do but i have you know like just this is where I think I'm going to have my planner every day. Um, I got a mug myself for M for Matthew, and then I have my scriptures with my scripture case on top of here, and uh, a Book of Mormon, two copies of the Book of Mormon here. Um, this one's a hard cover, and then this one's a soft cover down below here. Um, and then I also have a copy of the original version of the Book of Mormon, and for me, with original the original copy of the Book of Mormon, I can understand the story better, I can understand the history, I can understand what's going on better, and I can learn more um, and feel the spirit more when I read from that version rather than the more modern version, but to keep up with um, lessons and for other type of studying purposes, I do read from the more modern copies because it's just easier to keep up with, you know, when people are talking about the Book of Mormon and where to find things and whatever. This Book of Mormon is split up by chapters and whatever, but it's not exactly easy to read. I can't read Roman numerals and that's what this one is. Um, divided into, but other than that, like, it's just easier. It's exactly like a chapter book, and I love, I love that style. It's, it's a beautiful style for the Book of Mormon. Um, I mean, that's how people were reading it back in the 1800s when, when uh, the church was starting to, um, you know, start to develop and everything, and um, when Joseph Smith found the plates when he was translating and then when it started being published, that's how it was being published. That's how it was made, was that version. And I think not until uh, President Hinckley was uh, roughly around the time he was president, they started an initiative where they had institute students go through the Book of Mormon and um, do research and study like hardcore, mark things and um, connect things together and they were able to divide the Book of Mormon in the way that the modern version is currently today because they had people going through, they had a, a, a process where they put together the chapters and the, you know, dividing it up into columns and for easy studying, which yeah, it makes sense. For easy studying, it that's how it was, but even back when President Hinckley was alive, it was still the original version of the original copy of the ver It was a copy of the original version of the Book of Mormon. That's what I'm trying to say. So, sorry for that little churchy plug. I got a lot of uh, video or er, art in over the holidays, and that was a lot of fun as well. Um, I improved some art that I had from high school and 
got that copied and it's up on my on a sh on my shops. I actually have now instead of so I don't have Etsy anymore. Um, but what I do have is I have a Redbubble shop and a Society6 shop. Um, Redbubble has not as much stuff as Society6 provides, but it is easier to use and to upload things to Redbubble than it is to Society6. But the cool thing is Society6 almost has better quality merchandise or products. Um, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these. This is just an update. Um, me telling you what's been going on over over the, all the holidays and whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and this little update. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I really just wanted to kind of vent, almost rant basically, um, and share with you what has been going on. And I don't know, I just feel so much better being able to talk about this, being able to know that someone's listening, and uh, I hope that I, that all of my videos can be some kind of an inspiration to know that, you know, I, I'm a real person, I have a life too, and, you know, like, I, I have to, I have to work, I have to try my best every day of my life in order to survive, and I am extremely grateful for um, for the opportunities that I have been given uh, for my art and everything, and all of my credit goes to who my higher power is, my my God, my heavenly Father. I give all credit to Him uh, for all the things that have been happening over the last month, basically, because um, at first it wasn't all that spectacular but I've come around and things are turning around again and I feel like I owe him a lot of gratitude and I'm just plugging that in and I just I'm just so grateful for all the opportunities that I have and I'm so grateful for all of you guys who are here on this channel and uh, watching my videos giving me the support that um, I mean all of us need all the kind of support and I hope that um, through my videos that I've been any some kind of support for you guys um, in anything that you go through. So again, I, I just hope that this video didn't go too long and that it's been an inspiration for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy hearing my updates and I'm hoping to get more videos up soon, this week or next week. I'm, I'm really hoping. Let's achieve our dreams together. See you in the next video. Bye!